Here's how to get started setting up and using your wire tracer. First, connect the red and green test leads to the transmitter. This can be done through a test lead or current clamp connection. For most applications, a direct test lead connection is recommended for best results. Then, connect an alligator clip or outlet adapter to the red test lead. Insert the outlet adapter into the hot wire of an outlet receptacle on the load side of the circuit. If you're using an alligator clip, connect it to the bare hot wire on the load side of the circuit. The last but most important step here is connecting another alligator clip to the green test lead and clipping it on to a separate ground such as a metal water pipe, a metal grounded structure of a building, or a grounded stake. Not properly grounding or connecting the green test lead to the same circuit as the hot wire can lead to signal cancellation and improper results. If you're working with the GFCI protected outlet, the circuit needs to be energized. And if you're working with the GFCI protected breaker, make sure the circuit is de-energized to avoid tripping the breaker. However, if you're working with RCG protected outlets commonly found in Europe and other countries outside the US, connect the alligator clip of the green test lead to a neutral wire on a different branch of the same circuit that is protected by the same RCD as the line or phase wire. For applications where a direct connection on a bare conductor isn't available, we recommend a clamp connection with the included I-400 current clamp. But keep in mind, a clamp signal is not as strong as a direct connection and may not be strong enough for the receiver to detect very far from the clamp. To connect the clamp, connect the I-400 current clamp test leads to the transmitter. Then, connect the clamp around the wire you want to trace. To increase signal strength, wind a few turns of the conductive wire around the clamp if possible. Turn the power on, and depending on the voltage present, the transmitter will automatically select energized or de-energized mode. If the voltage warning indicator is off, it means the signal is de-energized. A solid red indicator means the signal is energized. If you see a red light blinking, disconnect the transmitter from the circuit immediately. Next, you'll want to select a signal mode. For most applications, use high mode. For applications that require precise tracing, use low mode to generate a low signal and reduce coupling to nearby wires or objects. Use loop mode to trace de-energized wires in a closed circuit, such as shorted or shielded wires. Keep the receiver and transmitter three feet apart to minimize signal interference. The next step is to set up the receiver. The 2052 and 2062 have slightly different receiver modes to pick from. Smart sensor mode, only on the 2062 can locate and display energized wires behind walls on the high resolution 3.5 inch LCD color display screen. To use smart sensor mode on the 2062, Hold the receiver towards the target area and follow the on-screen prompts until you find a wire. Quick scan mode on the 2052 can scan a target area to quickly find a signal. Once you've found the signal, you'll want to switch to precision mode or breaker mode to continue your tracing. With precision mode on the 2052 and tip sensor mode on the 2062, you can scan the target area with the tip to find the highest signal level. With a wire detected, align the tip sensor perpendicular to the wire the groove on the top of the tip sensor should align parallel to the wire. Adjust the sensitivity to keep the signal strength near 75%. If the signal is still too high, turn the transmitter to low mode. Breaker mode automatically adjusts the sensitivity of the receiver and stores the strongest signal detected in its memory to identify the correct breaker. Align the tip sensor perpendicular to the breaker to find the high signal. The groove on the top of the tip sensor should be parallel to the breakers. Scan each breaker or fuse for longer than one second, multiple times until the arrow on the display is solid green for only one breaker or fuse. The LCD screen will let you know when you found the strongest signal. Non-contact to voltage mode allows you to verify that a wire is energized without the transmitter. The receiver will detect and trace voltages between 90 to 600 volts AC and 40 to 400 Hertz. Scan the target area with the tip sensor to find the highest signal level. Keep the tip sensor perpendicular to the wire and the groove parallel to the wire. Aim for a signal strength around 75%. If a signal is detected, the bar show black proportional to the signal strength. If no signal is detected, all of the bars will be gray. 
Increase or decrease the sensitivity to identify the line or phase wire from the neutral line. Fluke 2052 Advanced Wire Tracer and Fluke 2062 Advanced Pro Wire Tracer.